In the latest modification to a school year unlike any before it, days before pre-K students were supposed to return to class, Winston-Salem for Scythe County school leaders have decided to wait. Our Brandon Bates spoke with some family members about these changes. He joins us live now at school headquarters in Winston-Salem. Brandon, what's the reaction in the community tonight? Yeah, well, the family that I talked to says they totally support the delay. They think virtual learning should be the only option for students for a while. I had to remember my code to get on my computer from last year. Virtual Academy for fifth grader Nathaniel Smith has had its challenges. Trying to wake up on an exactly perfect time or just enough time so I can get ready. And those challenges are felt throughout the entire house as his mom has been guiding his schooling. For the past six months, I would say life has been a roller coaster. Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools announced on Wednesday that pre-K and EC pre-K students will not go back on October 26th like originally planned. There will be at least a two-week delay. I think it would be smartest if they waited until January. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to go back right around the holidays because people are going to want to have Thanksgiving and that means exposure. Smith's son says he wants to go back to school, but he's scared of possibly being exposed to COVID-19. I think she waited it out until they know it's gone or they at least have a vaccine for it so you won't get it. Wednesday's announcement could push the return of other groups of students, including Nathaniel's grade back as well. No matter when students return, he just wants to make sure it's the right decision. I want them to know by knowing it's safe, by making sure it's safe, by actually knowing. And the next scheduled update for all students, whether or not they're returning and when they're returning to in-person learning will be October 27th at 630. There will be a public comment if you're interested. Reporting live in Winston-Salem tonight, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News.